Hello everyone, I'm Sheldon Barlett Rumor and this is it. Welcome back to This Is It TV. We have a wonderful guest for all of you. I can't wait for her to introduce herself, her first and last name and the name of her business. Hello, I'm Morningstar Hayward. My business is called Empowered Living Coaching. I'm a business coach for online entrepreneurs and purpose-driven individuals. Okay, so it's time to get to work, right? It's time to get to work. It really is. This is the time. This is the time to shine. This is the time with, you know, with all of this time that we have on our hands to really think about what you really, really want out of your life. This is the time if you've been wanting to shift gears, let's go for it. Yes, absolutely. And when you are helping, because now is a big time, I'm, we're talking to a lot of guests, we're talking to a lot of viewers who have had either offline businesses and now they're bringing them online or they have just a set of expertise that they now want to be able to instruct, teach, or coach. What types of people do you work with in AIDS? I work with creatives, coaches, consultants, thought leaders, influencers, educators, teachers. Um, you know, the, the, I run the full spectrum, really. Um, and what I'm so passionate about is really helping people to truly connect with their personal blueprint. Yeah. Um, there's a certain science behind not just developing an online business, but truly to see it to success, to really thrive in an online space. Yeah. And what I've found, what it really, really takes is nailing down your true purpose and your passion because it's the fuel and the wind beneath your wings that's going to keep you going when yeah. the going gets tough. And as we know, as entrepreneurs, whether you're offline or online, yeah. it's, it's not for the faint of heart, right? Exactly. It really takes a lot of grit, a lot of courage, a lot of dedication and commitment. And, um, and so that's one of my favorite parts about working with people is really helping them to define and refine what it is that they feel is their highest calling, what's oh. going to be an expression of their, their greatest uh, soul's contribution in their life. Oh, I absolutely love that and think it's so purposeful and so important. I mean, it's very hard to build something without a foundation, right? And so if you're not able to really hone in on what those key components are of your own personal brand, of the core of your business, it's hard to build from there. And so often people are like, oh, I'm going to throw some things online or, oh yeah, I'm just going to create an email campaign. Let's talk about the real brass tacks of what people really <laughs> need to, right? I'm sure you've heard that before. Oh, I'm gonna send out I, some posts, right? <laughs> definitely. Time and time again, time and time again, I've worked with um, you know, coach, coach, coaches and consultants moving their businesses online. And it, a lot of the pieces come as a really big surprise. And if you don't have your foundation really locked in with a clear message mm -hmm. and your brand all developed and you know a real true reflection of you, something that you can step into that you are really, really confident yeah. with and it just kind of comes with second nature because there's so many aspects to building an online business that really aren't second nature for a lot of people. Right. Um, case in point, one of them is just showing up online, right? You know, like the visibility and the exposure and, you know, really putting yourself out there and being vulnerable and saying, hey, world, like literally world, yes. <laughs> you yes. know, here I am. Yes. I think it's so important. I think so often we, you know, when we're meeting entrepreneurs, we're meeting folks, they have dreams, aspirations, goals, but the work, right? The work that it takes in, act in actuality to actually make all of those dreams come to fruition, that's the part I think that they need to be honed in on, right? And you don't yes. know what you don't know, but it sounds like you have not only the blueprint, but you walk them through the process so they can be better prepared. Absolutely, absolutely. Um, what I do is really comprehensive because I work to help my clients develop their, you know, the brass tacks of their online business, but also in becoming who they need to be in order to fulfill and execute their vision. So we go through crystallizing your vision, then profits and execution, and then blueprint for high performance. 
Oh, I love that. Did everybody hear? She said profits. <laughs> I so often, <laughs> profits. Right? So often, I mean, everybody wants to be the next great star. They want to fill yeah. stadiums with their messages, but they have to understand the profitability of their product. And yes. if that yeah. makes sense in, in the scope of things. And as you mentioned, is this something that you walk them through? Yes, absolutely. It's identifying what you're really passionate about, what you really want, the impact that you really want to create, the wave you want to create in your world to leave that legacy. And then can you monetize it? Can you monetize it? It has to be, you have to be able to monetize it, right? You have to be able to get paid. And so one of the pieces um, you know, I, I mean, it's, it's in and throughout the work that I do with my clients, but a big part of it really is, um, growing in the, the self love department, really loving yourself fiercely and loving yourself bigger than ever so that you can really value what you have to offer and step into that leadership and ask for the sale and be open to receive, um, because, so many of us, you know, we're the change makers of the world. We're givers, you know, we're, we're nurturers and um, we want to give, 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 give. Um, so that's a really big piece of it is, is that growth that it takes to really open, open oneself up to really receiving. And, and like I said, it really has a lot to do with, with how you're loving yourself and um, your ability to really grow into a true leader. Oh, I love this. I love this. It seems to me, you know, in, in knowledge as well as in hearing what you're saying, that people have to come to you in an authentic way. They have to come to you being really honest and really being able to, to be vulnerable to you as you help them through this process. How much of that is true? 1,000%. <laughs> and if the, and that's also, you know, if they're not 1,000% honest when they come to me, I help them get there. Yeah. That is a really, really big piece of it um, as well. It's, um, it requires a real deep dive into oneself to really excavate the truth, you know, in, in your inner being, really like what is your song? Yeah. If you oh. were to strip away, oh, uh, thank you. Um, you know, like if you were to strip away all of your, your parents' messages and society's messages and all of the programming and everything that says you should be doing this on paper, this is what it looks like, and this is what you've done thus far, so you would be crazy not to continue to follow this path. You know, it's, it's a lot of breaking through the expectations wow. um, that not only society and your parents and figures and peers and media have put on you, but also that you put on yourself. Right. So, um, so there is a real deep dive in the process to really get very real. And um, yeah, so it, yeah. it does really um, require that willingness to say, I'm ready to be totally authentically me in my life. Let's do this. Let's do this. And let's talk about the doing this, because I think that so often, again, the expectations of what it's going to take, they're watching those that we love and follow and fan thrive in this space. And you, and, but there is so much back of house that needs to be done. How prepared do they need to be to actually work and work well, towards this? Absolutely. There are systems that need to be set into place that need to be operating and connecting and communicating with each other in order to really, truly operate an online business um, and require and to market it. You don't have a business if you're not marketing. You have to be able to market your business. Yeah. Um, without marketing, it's a side hustle. It's a hobby. When you're marketing, bam, you're in business. And that's really what it takes. Um, so it's such a big, big piece of the puzzle there. Yeah. And uh, yeah, so I walk them through. That's why I, I call this like the roadmap, the A to Z, <laughs> you know, the comprehensive, right. you know, business plan here. Um, and so my, my program is yeah. called Elevate Business Mastery for Online Entrepreneurs. Ooh, love that. I absolutely love that because I think that so many people out there, they have a concept, they have an idea, they have an expertise, but how do you put that online? How do you communicate and build your communities in the proper way? And I think we've got someone for you, my friends. I think we've got someone for you. If people out there want to get in touch with you, if people out there want to follow Fan and like you, where would they find that information? 
they can find me on Facebook. I'm Star Hayward on Facebook. Um, my Facebook page is Star Hayward Business Coach. Um, my website is MorningstarHayward.com. So I'm on Instagram. So that's all it. over. Everybody has to get in touch with you. I'm telling you, if this is the time. It is the era of the pivot, my friends. If you're taking your offline brand and bringing it online or looking to take your online brand to the next level, I think it's time for you to sing your song with my friend. Thank you so much for joining me. Thank you. Thank you so much. It's wonderful to see you. Oh, this is so much fun. My gut says this is not the last time she'll be on This Is It TV. <laughs> but in the meantime, okay. I want to yes. make sure, right? In the meantime, I want to make sure that you follow Fan and like her. She's giving you all the information that you need in order for you to get in touch. From all of us here at This Is It TV, I'm Sheldon Barlett Rumor, and we will see you soon. Take care.